Bakers Now, Lewis Gill, the executive director of the Bakersfield Homeless Center, is joining us to break down these numbers a little more and talk about the problem of homelessness in our community. Good morning, Lewis. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. All right, so let's talk about that increase. And we heard right there talking about how there was a big increase in the number of volunteers counting. What do you think the real number increase is in homelessness over the last year? Well, first off, I want to say thank you very much to Adventist Health for being the sponsor for our point in time count uh, and also to the city and the county churches, groups that came out and volunteered because we doubled the number of people out on the street making contact and we have the best data we've ever had on who's living outside. <coughs> okay, so what is, what's that data telling you? Well, it's telling us that there is a uh, dramatic increase in the number of unsheltered individuals. Um, we saw a 118% increase in unsheltered people and that is uh, substantial and also very disturbing. And we've all seen it. Um, I'm, we all know it is, notice it in our own neighborhoods, in our community. There was also an increase seen in 2018 when this count was done. Why are we seeing this uh, going up year over year? Well, there's a number of societal factors. Um, if we look back, we have closed some of our larger uh, mental health institutions in the state. Um, there is still increasing cost for housing. Uh, there are some legislation, uh, there's legislation that's been put in place that changes the way we deal with people being incarcerated. So there are a lot of different factors, not just one thing, but it's all contributing to this population that's finding themselves without a home. And you're talking about mental health, um, the issues going on there, and I think it was almost a third of the unsheltered population was found to have previously had a mental health issue. What does that say about our system? What needs to change? Well, we know that we need increased services, and Kern County Behavioral Health is definitely getting involved. Um, they've been doing this work, but they're increasing their work in this area. Uh, they've just completed a contract with flood ministries that are going to dramatically increase the number of people doing outreach on the street. So literally going and finding the folks living outside, finding out why they have fallen into homelessness, and then helping them get back into permanent housing. And so what it's telling us is that that number is probably just a little bit low because that is a self-reporting number. And even though we have great volunteers, a, a complete stranger walking up and saying, do you have previous mental health issues? It's entirely possible that we're not going to get everyone to say, yes, yes, I do. So we know that that's higher than that, um, but it's really good that we are gathering that information. All right, and finally and quickly here, what can we as a community do? How can, how can just the everyday person help? So we have to address this community-wide. Uh, right now we have a continuum of care, which is a fancy word for a bunch of different organizations that are working on this issue. We need to expand emergency shelter beds. Both the city and the county are looking into that. Um, we have to increase the availability of low-income housing. So it's going to require change by all of us, and we're all going to have to get involved if we wish to address this very large problem. And we definitely do. Lewis Gill with the Bakersfield Homeless Center, thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having me.